Hi everyone, welcome to Fluid Soma. This is Miriam. Thank you for being here. So in today's class, we're going to work on the knees. It's going to be a session to help you uh, keep healthy knees or also to help you deal with any pain that you might be having around the knees. Um, so we'll start today in a lying down position. Get yourself set up. We're going to have a blanket to use at some point or a towel or can, any kind of uh, piece of fabric that you can roll to give some support for your knees for an exercise that we're going to do. All right, we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to come into a lying down position on our back. And we're going to have the legs straight, but let's not bring the feet too close together. Let's have some space between them so we can be really relaxed. And the hands can be to the sides, palms up towards the ceiling. And we're going to close the eyes to find a comfortable position for yourself. And as usual, we're going to take some time to focus inwards, tune into our sensations and see how we're doing today. So right away, you can start to release your weight down to the floor. We can feel the back of our body in contact with the mat. And with every breath, we try to relax a little bit more. We try to release our weight a little bit more to the floor underneath us. We can feel our bones sinking towards the earth, the bones of the feet, the bones of the legs, the lower leg, upper leg. We can feel the weight of our pelvis releasing to the ground, our spine, our rib cage, we can feel the weight of our arms, the bones of our arms and the bones of our hands dropping to the floor underneath us. and the weight of our head, the bones of the skull, the bones of the face, sinking to the ground underneath us. And whatever is happening to us at this moment is just for us to observe, to notice with no judgment, no evaluation. One more breath. And then let's open the eyes and take the arms overhead. Give ourselves a nice long stretch like we're waking up from a nap. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to roll to our side. So we're going to come up halfway 
we're gonna bring the elbow down to the floor and it's gonna be right underneath our shoulders, one shoulder. And then the knees are gonna be bent in this way. So one knee on top of the other and the ankles kind of touching as well. And let's bend the knee quite a bit. And the hand, the other hand is gonna come down to the floor like this. So we're gonna to start to lift the knee up and then we're gonna bring it back down. So what we're doing here is we're working on activating or strengthening the muscles of the glutes right here, the sides. So you might be thinking, what does have to do anything with my knees? Well, usually when we have uh, pain in the knees or even injury to the knees, um, it can be directly in the knee joints or the tissues close to the knee. But sometimes it's also due to an imbalance in the musculature or uh, a weakness in some muscles. So these muscles here in the outer glutes really help us stabilize the knee uh, so that, for example, when we're walking, we're not sinking towards the inside part of the knee, which can put pressure on different tissues there and cause maybe some injury in the long run. So it's good to maintain strong body overall, but especially the muscles around the knee or close to the knee to help stabilize it. And then let's stop and we're gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna just rotate my legs like this to the side, but you can just turn to your other side and bring the elbow down to the floor and then hand down to the floor. Let's bend the knees quite a lot here and knees one on top of the other, ankles one on top of the other. And this is just for support to help you so you don't fall back or anything like that. All right, so let's start lifting one knee up and then down, up and down. So usually it's recommended to do again, 10 to 20 repetitions and then even repeating it two to three times uh, in a row is great to keep these muscles strong, and to keep your knees protected. Great. So I might start to feel a little bit of a bird maybe in the side here, in the glutes. Again, between 10 and 20 reps. And then relax that, all right. And we're gonna come to a uh, sitting down position. So I'm gonna turn here. I'm gonna bring my legs in front of me and relax them. And let's start by shaking them a little bit. In and now, maybe bending the knees quickly and straightening them like this. Soften the tissues, kind of massage the back of the legs, massage the hamstrings, the calves in this way. Shake it in and out. Great, and then relax that. All right, so we're gonna take a moment first to touch our body. We're gonna touch our legs with our hands to get familiar with the shape of our legs and the structures that are in our legs. The muscles, the bones, we're not gonna name each one, but just to kind of have a sense of where things are, and you know what it feels like in our own body specifically. All right, so we can start maybe to go down first. And your legs are, are you know, bent as much as you need them so you can be comfortable. And it's like giving yourself a massage. So we're massaging the lower part of the leg. And you can feel that there are some parts that are uh, mushier or softer and some parts that are harder. So the harder parts are probably bone and the mushier parts or softer parts uh, are probably muscle or fat or some other tissues that are there. So it's good to just recognize that there is a difference between them. And so accordingly, you know, you can change the pressure that you're putting on your body uh, depending on whether it can take more pressure, maybe if it's uh, harder uh, tissue or less pressure, if it's 
something that's uh, uh, very tender to the touch, like a sore muscle or something like that. So see for yourself, and then we'll go to the other side. So other leg, same thing, just massaging, starting to move the tissues around, touch our own body, touch the lower leg on the left side here. And you're massaging it with your hands. Put as much pressure as you want, but also be comfortable. Not too much so we don't cause pain. Yeah, you can feel the calf muscles. And you can also feel the bones here of the lower leg. And you can see your feet. Maybe we're not going to the feet because it can be quite a stretch, literally, <laughs> to go and touch our feet in this, in this position. So that's why we're kind of starting just with the lower legs. And then let's move up to the knee. So we can just kind of put our hands around our knee. Um, you know, like a capsule that we're putting around our knee. Um, and just feel what it's like. The front, the sides, and the back of the knee. And then on the left side as well. The top, front, sides, and the back of the knee. Yeah, just feeling, feeling what's there. And then we go up to the thigh, where we have these big, large muscles, thigh muscles, and the front, the quads, and the sides, we have some other muscles as well, and the back. And again, here also you feel maybe that harder uh, structure underneath the muscles and the fat and the skin, which is the thigh bone. And then we go to the left side. How many times do you get to touch yourself in this way, right? So it's good to, to have a sense of what our own body feels like, to become familiar with it. It's also a way to give love to our own body, to ourself. And just like when we were lying down, you know, whatever it is that we're feeling, we're trying to come with a very accepting um, mind so that we don't judge our body or the shape of our body or you know, the, whatever we're feeling uh, when we're doing this, this massage, this self-massage, and accepting it as it is. Great. All right. Good. And then the last thing that we'll do is, if we take our hands on the knee, you'll find that there is a bony uh, structure that's called the kneecap, right? The patella. So this can move. And I used to do this a lot when I was a kid to kind of move it around. Uh, it's a bit of a weird sensation, but we'll give it a try together. So if you take your hands on either side of your uh, kneecap on the right side and left side, you know, like this, you're kind of holding it like this. You can uh, start to move it a little bit from side to side. And it's kind of a weird feeling. It, it really can move quite a lot. And, you know, it also differs from one person to another but there's quite a lot of movement happening from side to side. And maybe you can even try the top and bottom. So kind of pushing the kneecap down and then up to feel it move a little bit. We're not pushing too hard again, you know, gentle, soft, but just to, to see the potential of movement that's there, right? Good, and then we'll go to the other side. So kind of holding the kneecap from side to side, right and left, and feeling it move. And um, to, you know, to be able to, to move that kneecap around, it's better to have the leg relaxed. So if you straighten the leg completely, it's fixed. It can't really move. So relax the leg and then you'll be able to move it from side to side. And then also let's try moving it a little bit top to bottom. Not as much movement there, but 
its presence a little bit. Good. And then relax that. All right, so now we're gonna bring that blanket that you have or the towel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. So we're gonna make like a uh, burrito or sushi out of it. And we're gonna place it right underneath our knees like this. So we're placing our legs on top of it. And let's have our hands behind us and relax our body a little bit in our arms. Let's not lock the elbows, keep the elbows uh, bent a little bit. And we're gonna start to straighten one leg at a time. We're gonna do the right leg a few times and then we're gonna do the left leg a few times. So here I'm gonna bring the toes back of my right foot and I'm gonna start to straighten my leg completely all the way and then slowly release it down to the floor, heel back down to the floor, straighten the leg fully, feel the engagement of the quad muscle and then release slowly, slowly. A couple more times, straightening the leg, feeling energy out through the heel towards the front of your space and then slowly, slowly releasing that and straighten and then slowly releasing and let's do it one last time really straightening the leg without pushing the knee down to the floor so keeping length that's why that energy out through the heel will really help to keep that length and elongation and then release down and we'll go to the left side here so let's flex, flex the left foot and then start to straighten the leg and slowly release so you want to find that full extension of the leg by really engaging the quad muscles and finding that length that energy out through the heel towards the front and then slowly slowly release and when you're slowly releasing that you're also working on the strength of that muscle straightening and slowly releasing and we'll do it twice more and your breathing is very natural normal through your nose and then one last time. Reaching out through the heel and then slowly release. Great, okay. And let's bring the blanket and put it to the side. Relax the legs and shake the legs a little bit again. Okay, this time I'm gonna come to a sitting down position but with our legs wide open to the sides. I'm gonna turn just for the camera so you can see me better. So I have my legs here to the sides. It doesn't have to be very open. It can be somewhere in between and um, the most important is that you want to try to find a position where you can have a long spine, right? So we're gonna keep that back tall and we're gonna flex our feet. So just like when we had the blanket, we were you know, finding that length in the legs. We're gonna do that now, but with both legs at the same time. So we're gonna feel that engagement in the quads and find the energy out through the heel. Maybe you know, my, my leg, the way that it's shaped, my heel comes off the floor, but maybe it will not come off the floor for you. And then the other leg is also the same thing. So engaging in the thigh, finding that energy out through the heel to really feel the um, strength in the legs, right? And the stability that it brings to the knees. And then slowly release that. Good. And we'll do it one more time. So both legs at the same time. Finding the length and then slowly release. Great. Now from here, I'm going to bring the hands forward. And the legs here are straight, but we're not going for that full, complete, complete stretch. We're keeping them um, straight in an easy way. 
And we're gonna start to move the hands forward so that we feel now the stretch in the inner thighs and most likely also the hamstrings, the back of the legs right here. So when you find your uh, stretch, just stay there and hold the position and breathe. Maybe it will be here or maybe it will be more forward depending on your own body, but there is no competition. It's just for yourself and for your body. So find what's comfortable and then just hold it there and maybe even close the eyes. Let's do that. I'm gonna close the eyes. And we're gonna focus on our breathing. And that way, also you can start to um, really feel what's going on in your body. You're paying attention to the sensations in your body. If the stretch becomes too intense, back off a little bit, so come up a little bit, or if the opposite, you find that your leg is really comfortable and you don't have a lot of sensation in the back of the legs and also the inside of the thighs, maybe go a little bit further down, but keep your back along so you're not rounding the spine completely. Keep that length in the spine. Just a couple more breaths for yourself in silence. come back up to sitting upright and here we're gonna bend the knees but we're gonna bring one leg forward and one leg back so I'm gonna turn to show you so you have one leg in front of you and then the other leg behind you like this so it's like a, a uh, four kind of position so my knee uh, here I have my left knee in front of me, my knee is more in line with my shoulder than my hip. If it is with my hip, it's gonna be more in, but I wanna bring it out a little bit more. And this leg here is bent, foot is relaxed, and you're gonna find the opening that's comfortable for you. Maybe it will be more like this, maybe more open, somewhere in between. Find the place that's comfortable. And here, I want my uh, front foot to be flexed. So I want to really draw those toes back towards my shin and I'm gonna have a nice long back and then from here I'm gonna start to fold forward hinging at the hips and now I should start to feel a stretch in my outer glutes of the left side here on my left leg. So we, we worked on strengthening them at the beginning of the class and now we're stretching them out a little bit. I'm keeping my elbow soft, no locking, similar in the jaw, relaxed. Keeping the back of the neck long. And staying exactly where you are or if you feel the need to go a little bit um, further lower maybe move the hands in front of you and start to lower down maybe your elbows will come down to the floor maybe not and this is a variation of a uh, pose that's often done in yoga classes that's called pigeon usually the back leg is straight I don't do that posture uh, in my practice ever because it's just not good for my body. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on my sacrum here, lower back area, but this keeps me happy and it does 
what it's supposed to do. All right. And then when you're ready, you're going to come up and we'll switch to the other side. So straighten both legs in front of you, shake them a little bit, and then we'll go to the second side. So I'm doing my right leg because I started with my left. And then the other leg comes behind. Knee in line with the shoulder, front foot flexed. And that shin, the lower leg, is parallel to the front of my mat here. And then I'm going to bring my hands on either side of the uh, leg and start to fold forward. Hinging at the hips, trying to keep a nice long back. And breathing, paying attention to the breath. Soft focus, long neck. And I'm allowing my breath to be easy, so I'm not pushing it or trying to make it into something, just letting it happen through my nose. And I'm feeling the stretch right here and even a little bit down. I can't really show you here because I'm kind of sitting on it. Couple more breaths. Keeping a nice, soft, relaxed face and a soft jaw. Good. And then we'll come up to sit upright. And from here, we're gonna move into a downward dog. So go ahead and bring your feet back. And pressing on the hands, your hips are nice and high towards the ceiling. And let's bend the knees one at a time, like we're pedaling our feet our legs. Hmm. Maybe the hips will move from side to side if that feels good for you. Good. And then look forward and bend both knees and then start to walk the hands towards the feet and the feet towards the hands. Relax the head. Nod. Yes. And then no. And from here, let's reach the hands to the shins. Nice long back. And exhale, release down. And just to change it up, keeping the knees soft, let's reach through the top of the head, the crown of the head, forward. And that's going to bring us all the way up to a standing position. Great. Adjust your clothes if you need to. And from here, let's reach the arms to the sides and look towards the ceiling. We're gonna bend the arms in a cactus-like position and we're gonna bend the knees slightly, keeping the gaze up towards the ceiling, opening the front of the chest. And then let's straighten the legs and the arms and look straight forward. And let's do that one more time. Bending the knees slightly, bending the elbows, cactus arms, looking up to the ceiling and then straighten. One last time. Bend, open the front of the chest, and straighten. Great, good. I'm gonna turn again just to show you, but we're gonna open the feet wide, not too wide, just somewhere in between. So if I were to be on my side, the width of my mat would be perfect. So the edges of the mat. So from here, I'm gonna start by bending the knees a tiny bit, and then we're gonna feel like we're pressing the earth, and I'm gonna pull the inside of the legs and also keeping contact with the outer edges of the feet to straighten the legs. So we're feeling that engagement in the thighs. Good. So we have contact with the outer edges of the feet, but also the inner edges of the feet and engagement in the legs. Great. From here, let's lift your right arm. Inhale and then start to uh, side bend. And the other hand moves down the leg as far as it needs to. One more breath, shoulder away from the ear, 
and then back up and reach the left arm here inhale and exhale side bend good one more breath and come back up and we'll change one arm shoulders away from the ears and start to fold to uh, fold to the side to bend to the side and up and then the other arm inhale and exhale you might notice that you're going further on one side than the other and that's normal come back we're not we're not symmetrical we use our bodies differently from side to side, so that's why there is no symmetry. And uh, forcing that symmetry is actually less helpful than uh, we think. All right, so let's bring the feet a little bit closer together. Not completely touching, but just underneath our hips, pretty much. And we're going to start to uh, bring the hands at the center, and then we're going to start to lift the heels off the ground like this and then bring them back down to the floor up and down good up and down you can keep the hands right here or if you want you can start to bring them up towards the sky and tickle the sky like you're trying to tickle the ceiling with your fingers it's just going to add a little bit of uh, length and it might be also more challenging for the balance um, so find the position that's good for you and then one last time good and lower great i'm gonna now um, do a chair pose so i'm gonna turn just to show you so i'm positioning myself same place with the feet and let's start with the hands on the hips i'm gonna bring the hips back like this I'm going to keep my knees in line with my ankles and I'm going to keep an engagement in my uh, abdominals so I'm not overarching in my lower back. I want to keep that lower back long and this is a squat pretty much. You can stay, you can be in um, as far of a bend in your knees as it feels comfortable. Maybe here, maybe a little bit lower. And then we'll hold it here for a couple of breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. And one last breath. And exhale and then come back up. Great. We'll do it twice more. This time, let's bring the hands to the heart and bend, bringing the sitting bones back. Like you're gonna sit on a chair pretty much probably why it's called chair pose and keeping the knees in line with your toes so don't let your knees collapse in towards the center keep space between your knees a couple more breaths inhale exhale one last one and then come up all right last variation let's bring the arms forward turn the palms up towards the ceiling and let's take the hips back chair pose good engagement in the abdominals to keep the length in the lower back one more breath and then straighten great we're going to move to a wall here just for support to stretch out the calf so find a wall that's close to you. Even if you have, uh, you know, like a, uh, a table that you can lean on or um, countertop of your kitchen or something like that, that's also great. So I'm gonna place myself here and I'm gonna bring my right foot back. So I'm coming into a small lunge. My left knee is bent and my uh, back leg is straight. And I wanna make sure that the toes of my back foot are directly in line uh, towards the front. They're facing the front, so they're not going to face the side, the outer side or the inner side. They're really straight forward. And the heel is also in line with my toes, right? 
And then from here, I'm just going to start to fold, to kind of lean forward. And that should do it and give me the stretch in my calf muscles. And it is doing it. So just a couple of breaths here. Usually holding a stretch for 30 seconds or so is great. Just a couple more breaths. Hmm. Staying with your sensations. And then release that. And we'll go to the other side. So bring your left foot back. Make sure the toes are towards the front, heel in line with the toes, and then start to slightly move your body forward to feel that stretch in the calf. Great. Good. Couple of breaths. All these muscles around the knee are important to uh, be strong but also supple to keep the, the knee healthy, to support the knee. And then come up. All right, we're gonna do a quad stretch here. I'm gonna do a version standing up, but if this is not a good version here for you, I'm also gonna show a version lying down. So for those of us who are going to do the version standing up, we're facing the wall and I'm going to bend um, one knee and I'm going to bring that foot to the hand. So we're holding the foot with the hand, my right foot with my right hand, and I'm bringing both knees close to each other. And then I'm going to start to bring that foot back towards my bum. And at the same time, I'm reaching with my pubic bone towards the front. So I'm not sticking my bum out. I'm doing the opposite. And for you, maybe your foot will not be as close to your heel as it is for me. Maybe it will be here. And that's an excellent stretch as well. Yeah. I was not able to have this position for a really long time because I got injured in my knees. Um, and it took me a good three years to find my full range. Even this was not possible. Yeah, it took a long time, but I managed to get it back to where it was before I got the injury. Good. And then we'll switch to the other side. So both feet together and then let's bend the left knee and hold the left foot with the left hand. Bring both knees close together and then start to draw that foot close to your bum and bring your pubic bone forward. So the opposite would be to stick your bum out. So we're kind of tucking under with the pelvis. Good. Just a couple more breaths. Hmm. And always keeping that nice opening in the shoulders. You're going to feel so good after. Uh, you're gonna have that sensation of, you know, strength, stability, but also stretch in, um, in your knees after the session. Yeah. And then release that. Great. And then we'll come to lying down, but this time on our front. And we're gonna rest our hands down on the floor like this, and we're gonna bring our forehead down to the floor as well. And our legs are soft, relaxed. We can shake them a little bit from side to side like this. Great. And then stop that movement. And just be in stillness a little bit here, resting. Good. So from here, we're going to bring the elbows to the sides, palms down to the floor. And 
we're going to start to lift the um, torso and the legs off the floor, but we're going to have a bit of engagement in the abdominals. So we're going to bring our kind of belly button in. We're going to bring the stomach in, if you want, towards the back of the spine. And that is to protect our lower back. And then we're going to start to lift the head off the mat, lift the leg off the mat, and the arms off the mat. Kind of like a Superman kind of position, right? Something like that or like that. I can't remember how he does it. So we're here, flying away from the earth. And then release. And one more time. Inhale, lift the head up, legs up, and hands. Ooh. Finding length in the body. Great, should feel kind of nice. And then relax that. Great, bring the hands back to where they were, one on top of the other, forehead down on the hands. And let's just shake the hips from side to side like this. Right and left. Hmm. Good. And here I'll show the version of the quad stretch in this lying down position. So I'm going to be stretching my right uh, quad. I'm going to bring my left elbow down to the floor and so that it's fairly close in line with my shoulder, right? It's just underneath my shoulder and the palm is down to the floor. And then I'm going to look back towards my foot. I'm going to bend the knee and I'm going to hold on to my foot like this. So this could be the stretch or maybe bringing that foot in towards you, towards the bum. So that's one version here. So if you want to do this stretch instead of the one standing up, this is a great version as well. And then release. And then on the other side, same thing. So I'm going to stretch my left uh, quad, right elbow down to the floor, underneath my shoulder, hand with the palm down towards the mat. And then look towards the left, bend the knee and hold on to the foot with the left hand and stretch it out. Feels good too. So just another option for you if the one standing up is not accessible or you prefer to do this one like this. And then relax that. Great. And we're going to come to lie on our back. Just one more exercise before we finish off. We're going to have the knees bent. And we're going to feel our back melting towards that mat, melting to the floor, really feeling the width of our back expanding on the earth, feeling the support of the earth. Great. Hands to the sides, palms facing down. And we're going to start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling in a bridge pose. Not lifting the hips too high. This, is, this would be too far. Just here, so it's a nice long line from the knees down to the shoulders. Another breath here. And then slowly, slowly releasing that. Lifting the hips up again, but this time pressing on the outer edges of the feet, but keeping the knees in the same direction towards the front. I'm just kind of putting pressure on the outer edges of my feet and I'm feeling my muscles here on the sides um, contracting or engaging. Is this a kind of a different musculature, muscular uh, engagement? So it's more in the outer hamstrings, outer glutes a little bit more and then slowly 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 releasing that and last one this time imagine there's a block in between your legs or a ball uh, a yoga block and you're squeezing it but without bringing the knees to touch keeping that space between the knees imagine that ball squeeze 
squeeze it with your inner thighs and start to lift the hips up. So now we're engaging more that inner line of muscles in the thighs. Good, one more breath and then release. Great. And let's bring our knees in towards our chest. If you have difficulty bending your knees completely, uh, you can have your hands right underneath here to give a little bit of support for your legs when you're relaxing them so they don't come all the way down. And then give yourself a nice hug. You can even interlace the hands like this, hold on to the hands and just kind of shake your body a little bit forward and back. Good. Hmm. One more breath. And then just a tiny bit from side to side. Super, and then come back to the center and relax the legs down to the floor. And we come to our uh, final pose, which is the relaxation pose, or sometimes called corpse, corpse pose um, in yoga. So we're finding a nice relaxed position, just like when we started, same thing. Arms to the sides, palms up towards the ceiling, the legs relaxed, and closing the eyes. Back of the neck long. And feel that weight that we were working on releasing at the beginning of the class. But also notice if there is any um, sensation of, of vibration or um, like an inner animation inside of your body. An aliveness. in your tissues, in your cells. And enjoy that. And at the same time, feel the support of the earth. Great. So we'll finish the class here. You're welcome to stay in this position as long as you want to. Otherwise, I will see you next time in another video. Bye.